In this video, we're going to discuss how we can measure financial performance with the help of a balance sheet and a profit and loss statement. We take the balance sheet and we take a profit and loss statement. And we're going to do this in two steps. Step number one, transform the balance sheet into an invested capital, that is capital right hand side and operational assets on the left hand side. Step number two, calculate the return on invested capital, what we call ROIC. Back to step number one. To start with the right hand side, the definition of capital is the amount of capital that the company owes to interest paying debt holders plus equity. In total, this is 7000. To get the capital on the left hand side, one needs to move the non interest paying debt from the right to the left hand side. That looks as follows one subtracts the non interest paying debt of 1000 from the current assets of 4000 to get to what we call working capital of 3000. What we now see is on the left, the invested capital broken down into 4000 fixed assets and 3000 working capital. That equals the total amount of capital invested of 7000. Step two, in order to calculate the financial performance, we divide the operating result of 700 by the invested capital of 7000. This will give you the return on invested capital. What does this mean? In euros, on every euro invested in the assets on the left hand side, the capital holders on the right hand side will receive 10 cents. So 10 cents on the euro. Whether this 10% is sufficient for capital holders, that is what we're going to discuss in class. 